Hello, everybody. Welcome to another advanced maths lesson. I've got Mr. Lee here. Hi, everyone. And we're going to be talking about the order of operations today. So what are the order of operations? Well, that's what we're going to find out. So if you're ever in a situation where you've got to calculate something like this, there's particular rules, almost like a map that you need to follow in order to do it correctly. You can't simply just work left to right. I mean, how would you do that? Seven plus this? How would you, how would you do that? But there is a systematic way to work through these sort of problems. And Mr. Lee and I are gonna show you step-by-step step how to do this. So B is brackets, O is orders, and D and M are division multiplication, A and S are addition and subtraction. This shows you the order that you've got to do things, okay? It's very important that you follow this order. If you don't, you will get the wrong answer every single time, unless there's a coincidence. So if you look at this acronym, which is where you've got every letter standing for a word or a phrase, this is bod mass. Now, sometimes you will see it as bid mass, where instead of orders, they call them indices, okay, from the index laws in the other advanced maths videos we've done. Or you might see it as ped mass or pod mass. And because uh, sometimes we can call the brackets, um, we can call them parentheses as well. And you could even call um, O exponents, okay? So there's many different ways, but we're gonna focus on bod mass today. Just so you're aware you can hear it as ped mass and uh, bid mass and things like that. Okay, so if we look at here, we've got to follow the order. So B's first. So we would have to do brackets, which means that we ignore the seven plus right now. We just pretend it doesn't exist because it doesn't matter right now. We have to actually do what's in the brackets first. Okay, cool. But there's lots of stuff in the bracket. So what's that about? Well, you look at, oh, are there any orders, any powers, any square roots, etc.? Well, this is five raised to the power of two or five squared. So this is a power. So we have to make sure that we are doing this first. So we have to work out what five times five is, which would be 25 in this case. Okay, so we're in the brackets. We've done the orders. What comes next? Well, division and multiplication left to right. Okay, we're still not touching this seven yet. Okay, but what we are doing is we're multiplying six by 25, because remember five times five is 25, and then plus three. Okay, so six lots of 25, we work that out, and then we've done the multiplication. After that, we need to do the addition. Okay, so whatever that was, we then, um, yeah, Mr. Lee, what would that be? Is six lots of 25, that would be 150, right? Yep, so 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. Yep, 150. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, tricky doing this in my head. <laughs> so 150 plus three, okay? And then that's the bracket taken care of, all right? So we've finally done the bracket. So 150 plus three is 153. And then we're down to addition and subtraction. So then we just plus seven to 153. And we should get an answer of 160. Is that right? That's 160. Yeah, exactly. 160. 160% right. Okay. Now, some of you might be thinking, wow, that sounds very complicated. We're going to start off slow and we're going to give you some examples that are not anywhere near as difficult as this. I don't think we have any where we're using orders, for instance, because that's a little bit advanced and we're aiming this for like stage two, stage three. Okay. So this is a sheet that I'll show you where this is on the website and you can see um, <laughs> it should be, um, yeah, PEMDAS. You can also switch the multiplication and division around. So I haven't seen that before, but you could call it PEDMAS or PEMDAS. PEMDAS. There you go. There's so many different ways to write the same thing, but it's all the order of operations. And why do we call it that? Well, because there is an order you have to follow in order to get it right. Okay, so Mr. Lee and I are going to tackle a couple of these questions as examples to help you. And then it will be up to you, if you want to, to have a go at these questions yourself. So I've decided to take on this example and I can immediately see there's brackets, okay? So if we're looking at bod mass, brackets is always first, all right? But what's in the brackets? Well, we've got subtraction, addition, and division. So we're going to have to do the division first, okay? So we're gonna work out the brackets first. So I'm gonna draw up my little brackets here, give myself some room to work with. And then here's another rule that's important. This isn't two divided by two. This is minus two divided by two. Okay, why is that? Well, there's kind of like this um, rule that when you take a number and you divide it or multiply it or even add it or subtract it, if you do anything with a number, you've got to take it sign with it. So there's a hidden little plus sign here, which I'm going to just draw in now. Okay, and there's a minus sign here. Okay, 
And now the rules are when you've got a minus and a plus and you're multiplying or dividing those two numbers, you end up with a negative, okay? So a minus and a plus, like we've got here, minus and a plus means a negative. So whatever answer it is, is going to be minus something, okay? So I'm gonna write in here. And what is two divided by two? Well, if I've got two things and I share them between two people, everybody just gets one. So the answer there is negative one. Now I do this step-by-step step so that I don't get lost along the way. So one thing I'm going to do is rewrite every single other part that I haven't touched. So the eight is going to stay as is because I haven't done anything with that yet. And the four or the plus four, I've got to remember to keep the sign with it. I need to also take that along, okay? And then I'm still going to divide by one at some point later, okay? So that's the first step. All I've done is one little part of the bracket. The bracket hasn't been done yet though, so it still needs to be dealt with. So. I've done brackets, okay, in here there's no orders, okay, so there's no exponents, there's no um, multiplication or division, there's simply subtraction and addition, and I can work left to right here. So if I look at this and I say 8 take away 1, well that's going to be 7, and then if I add 4 to that it will be 11, okay, so I can write 11, and because I haven't touched this, I need to rewrite it, 11 divided by 1, all right? And I'm going to put a nice little equal sign here and one here. All right. And now I'm just left with the last step, which is just to take 11 and divide by one. Well, how many ones can you divide into 11? Well, the answer is just 11. Okay. So this is going to be my final answer there. Okay. So for question two, we've got two times 10, take away two, take away, and then you've got like the brackets and it says six plus three. So remember our orders. We've got to, first of all, look for brackets. Are there any brackets? Yes, at the very end. So it says six plus three. So we need to work out what six plus three is. Six plus three is nine. So Mr. Peck has just written a nine for us. So now we can pretty much imagine those brackets are gone. I mean, we've worked it out. Six plus three is nine, done. Okay, and there's no more brackets that I can see in the question. So then we go to the next step where we look for multiplication or division. There's no division. By the start, there is multiplication. Two times 10. So two times 10, that's 20. Okay. Uh, and then from there, is there any more multiplication? Nope. It's just the takeaway, the two, takeaway two. So we're going to therefore go 20, takeaway two is 18. And then we've also got to take away the nine. So then 18 take away nine is nine. Okay. And that's the answer. So again, it's just looking at what we need to do first. Brackets. Once you've done the brackets, you do the multiplication or division. After you've done that, you look for addition or subtraction. In our one, it was brackets, then multiplication, and then some subtraction. And then we get nine as our answer. So we're going to do another example now. What we have is, um, yeah, we've got a little bit of stuff going on here. We've got some multiplication at the end, which we would have to do, and some brackets as well, along with some subtraction and addition. If you want, have a go, pause, see if you can work it out yourself. But remember, the first thing you're going to do is the brackets. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this 9. Just leave it out the front. We'll deal with that later. Brackets, well, 12 minus 3, that's also 9. So there we go. And then we're going to have plus two, but oh, hang on. We can actually multiply this out because that would be the next step. So we've got um, two times four, that's going to be eight. So it's going to be plus eight. Okay. And we'll put the equal sign to show that this is another line of working along with this one here. All right, now this is really cool. We've got nine and then we're taking nine away. So that's zero. And then we're adding eight. So zero plus eight is just, well, eight. Okay, so not too bad. So um, again, started off with brackets, a bit of multiplication, a bit of subtraction, a bit of addition, working left to right at the end. Um, yeah, not too bad, hopefully. Once you break it down to step by step, it's, uh, I think it's manageable. What do you think, Mr. Lee? Yeah, at first it may seem a little bit tricky, but once you give it a go, it comes together. You do, if you remember the rules, it's simple. So maybe a tip is maybe have the rules in front of you have the orders, you have your brackets and then multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, have that order in front of you and it, that may help as well. Absolutely. All right. 
So guys, that takes us to the end of the lesson. Um, have a go at those questions. I'm going to show you in a moment where to get those from. But what we've covered is BODMAS, the order of operations, starting from the top with B, the brackets, and moving all the way down to addition and subtraction, working left to right. This is the order you have to follow. If you didn't follow this, then you would get the wrong answer. And it's just important to just commit this to memory. That's why they've got pretty easy things to remember, like BODMAS, PEDMAS, BIDMAS, you know, they're, they're all fairly easy to remember and keep in your mind. They're, they're rules that, you know, just like learning addition and subtraction, multiplication, division, at the first time, there's certain rules you've got to follow when you did algorithms and stuff like that. This is just as important as that. In fact, it's maybe more important because it tells you the direction which you're going when you go to solve a problem because as you get to more and more complicated mathematics, you're going to encounter um, more than one operation. It's not just going to be like, oh, you know, Sam had five apples, take away three, how many is left? You know, it's going to be like that plus, oh, then multiply the number by two to work out the cost. And then, you know, um, <laughs> if he has to repay a loan over five years because he borrowed too many apples, you know, there's maybe exponential growth and <laughs> it just gets more and more complicated. So, but this will help you, okay, to unpack all the meanings with all that stuff. Okay. And guys, um, just remember like brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. I think Mr. Pick would also agree that the, the second one, the orders, that's more a little bit more to do with like maybe high school. So when we're, when we're at school, we probably won't have to worry about the orders uh, line too much. The ones to, the super important ones to remember are the brackets, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. They're the super important ones. So, and they're the questions that we get at our, at, uh, primary school will have those those concepts so just something to keep in mind yeah couldn't agree more all right well thanks for joining me mr lee uh, pleasure always <laughs> thank you all right okay guys so uh, thanks for joining us with our lesson today um if you want to check out the questions just go on the learning lab website go to maths and they'll be right down the or well, not quite right down the bottom it's in the primary section there you go so it's order of operations here. That's the web, uh, sorry, that's the worksheet on the website. Um, and the video that uh, you're watching right now will appear in this section over here. If you do want to send me your work and Mr. Lee and I have done a couple of examples for you. I think three of the questions are done, but there's plenty more to do. Just send it over to this email address here and I'll take a look and mark it for you and give you some feedback. All right. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Um, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, hope you're taking care of yourself and having a good time. See you later.